Okay, so from Newcastle city centre, good morning and welcome back to another video. We're on the bikes today. We're not going out for a ride. We're in our casual clothes because we're heading down to a local bike shop. The reason is because I didn't mention in yesterday's uh, video, but one person who didn't have a good race yesterday was Will. Unfortunately, he crashed, I think twice. Um, he's done some damage to his bike. He snapped his DI2 lever, bent his rear mech hanger amongst a few other things. Structurally, the bike is completely fine, but um, some of his equipment is not. So uh, we're gonna go down, find a bike shop, and hopefully get his bike fixed before our race on Wednesday. How many times did you come down in the end, Will? Was it two? Uh, yeah. Two crashes? Two crashes. Did you have you hurt yourself? Uh, not really. Just, just the bike, the bike to the just impact. Just the bike, yeah. Bike in the elbow. <laughs> we're going over a fancy bridge. There's water. So hard to see from the moment we arrive. Do you reckon we can steal the dog? I think so. <laughs> You need to distract him, I'll take him out. Put him in your bag yeah, yeah. and just run. <laughs> so Societo Sola, yeah. uh, custom frame set from Italy. Um, the guy wants to do a whole route, so he, he had a specific brief. The bike has to weigh under five kilos. Okay. He wanted lightweight, he wanted clinches, obviously added weight. So we had to save weight in other places. So wow. they've shaved carbon off in bits where it's not essential to his weight. He weighs 54 kilos. Yeah. Um, so it's actually made in, in Italy? In Italy, yeah. Made, in Italy. yeah, yeah. Uh, it takes about 12 to 14 weeks to get one. And you can pretty much customize everything. Yeah, uh, anything, paint scheme. I mean, the guy wanted something really plain, but they can do crazy stuff. Uh, they've yeah. got a new, uh, on the new Setup Plus, they've started a new thing where on the final cosmetic wrap of carbon, yeah. um, they've added like an alloy filament. Yeah. They can change the color to anything in between. So it creates like a snake skin effect. Yeah. They've done one with red, blue, white. They're doing gold now as well. Um, you can change anything. You can change how stiff you want the head tube to be, how, what and, carbon and they use. Like, why would you change the stiffness of a head tube? Like, what's that going to do? Is it just going to handle differently? Or is it yeah, so weight? essentially, as well as bigger people, or bigger lads with bigger shoulders, okay. not everybody's traditional frames are built extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, and yeah. they just assume an extra large frame set, the guy's going to be big. But we've got a lad around your Fergus Robinson, right. six foot five, weighs yeah. sixty something odd kilos. So he's yeah. skinny. Exactly. So even with the, exactly, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. even with this big frame, he wouldn't need a really big handlebars. Where then you get the exact opposite, Cavendish back in the day with these custom yeah. handlebars because all he wants is stiffness. Yeah. So, but his frame is quite small, so they can custom build the frame depending on what you need. Um, do you have bigger legs? Do you how much? Yes, yeah, essentially, what do you want? Yeah. And how much? How much does, does this one weigh? Uh, this frame set, unpainted, was seven hundred grams. Um, and then the paint-wise is difficult for one to judge beforehand, so we still have to wait to see what it came in. Yeah. There's anything up to one hundred and forty grams added. But then they said they'll try and actually limit the weight by taking out in other places. So as a, as a full setup with the lightweights, do you think it's going to be under? We well, estimated to be under 5.1. Right. We've had to go up purely because when we first spec the bike out, he didn't want it painted. Yeah. Um, and he wanted tubs switching to clinches, okay. having it painted, added weight. So we've tried to shave in different places. Yeah. He wants a power meter fitted, so it's getting quark. That's incredibly light. That's still almost two kilos lighter than what's legal, yeah. what's legal to race on. Exactly. <laughs> I'm not sure how it's going to work for him because he wants to do the hot route. Yeah, I'm not yeah, sure yeah. if they actually nah. implement UCI. No, I don't think it's really so. This is part of part of your business. You you brew your own beer. Uh, well, it's a sister company. Okay. So my business partner he owns this. Right. Uh, so separate to the bike shop, but together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes it yeah, all on the same site. Uh, cool. And then there's another brewery in town as well, Wylam. And it's what's the what's the beer called? Uh, the company's called Bar the River Brew Co. Yeah. And they just do loads of different beers. So every time they produce new ah. beer, obviously it's a new name, new label. Yeah, yeah. Um, the Wylam size has got quite a few famous ones like JK. Um, which is, yeah, everybody seems to, to go for. It's a lot of beer. 
So I posted the question on Instagram yesterday asking you guys to recommend a good bike shop in, in Newcastle. The overwhelming majority said to check out the Backyard Bike Shop and I can highly recommend if you need anything doing to your bike, check them out. It's pretty well hidden right by underneath this bridge. I don't know what it's called. Uh, the Tyne Bridge maybe next to the river. Check them out. Can we go get some food now? Okay, so Will isn't like the biggest fan of being on camera, so to kind of elaborate as to what we are talking about and his crashes earlier on today, take a look at this. This is um, what's left of Will's skin suit from the race at the weekend. Got a huge hole in the shoulder and basically just holes everywhere. So, um, I mean, yeah. It's gonna take a little bit of sewing to get this race suit back into action. I didn't actually see or hear any of his crashes. I only found out about them at the end of the race. Clearly he came down pretty hard to do that much damage to his skin suit. The team is sending another race uh, skin suit up to Newcastle. For, so hopefully, hopefully that arrives before Wednesday, which is when our next race is because we can't exactly race in that kit, can he? Given the state of his kit, I think his bike came off pretty, pretty lightly. We had to get a new shifter installed because he basically snapped off his back, back bit of the shifter. So we couldn't shift down the block. He also just ripped his bar tape, so he got some new bar tape on there. And finally, bent his met kanga. So, I mean, other than that, the bike is absolutely fine. I mean, he probably came down at like 50 or 60k an hour. And to do that little damage to the bike, that's pretty impressive. I mean... It does look like he took most of the damage, but still. But that is not until Wednesday. We've got a whole nother day be before that, which is tomorrow. Uh, and tomorrow, we're going to be meeting up with one of my other teammates, Alex, who actually goes to university here in Newcastle. So hopefully he knows the area pretty well and can show us some decent roads to ride down. So that's the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And with that being said, guys, I'll see you tomorrow at the same usual time of 4pm. Peace!